I'm very excited to be sat here with the Reverend Dr. Jonathan Hustler, who has a very exciting title of Secretary of the Conference now. I am very lucky. I think I know what you do and I think I know what the conference does, but just pretend for a minute. I am an alien. <laughs> From I'm Jersey. <laughs> from Jersey, from the Channel Islands. And I've landed here and I've just seen this thing called the conference. And what is it? What, what is conference? Well, the conference is the governing body of the Methodist Church in Britain. Uh, so it's a gathering of approximately 330 people um, who come together um, and we confer. We, we seek God's will. Uh, to decide what are the things that the Methodist Church needs to be doing over the next year. Uh, so some of that will be about um, matters of administration, some of it will be about determining what our, our policies and our strategies are, uh, and some, some of these are decisions that we make about uh, people in ministry, um, the stage of their ministry and where they should serve in ministry. So let me ask a question. What does it mean for Marjorie in the pew? For, for Marjorie in the pew, um, the decision of the conference will have a huge effect. Um, one of the um, things that the conference will decide is which um, presbyters and deacons are to be stationed to which circuits. Um, Mar Marjorie, conference matters. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, it is through the decision of the conference, for instance, that uh, the ways in which people are trained for ministry um, are determined. And indeed, um, this year the conference receives uh, two, uh, two important reports, uh, one of which is a statement on ministry in the church, uh, the other is a report on changing patterns of ministry in the church, which is actually about how uh, ministry is exercised mm. in the life of the Methodist church. So from that point of view, it makes a difference. Um, it makes a difference uh, in the, the fact that the conference signs off the budget and the assessments. So actually, yeah. um, <laughs> what Marjorie is asked... <laughs> to put in her envelope. Yes. Marjorie, please do a standing order, stop using the envelope. <laughs> but so, so all the decisions. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there will be various um, policy uh, decisions that the conference may implement that will have an effect on the life of, of the church in which Marjorie worships. And one thing that I adore about the concept of conference is actually Marjorie, God bless her, can actually come to conference. She can have a, a, a say if she felt that the Holy Spirit was telling, telling her that we should have a resolution that everybody should wear pink hats on a Sunday and the Holy Spirit told her this. She, there, are, there are ways and processes just to, it's not obviously it's not pink hats, but you know, the, <laughs> you get the idea that I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, right. but, yeah, there yes. is a way. So, so, so the conference, the business that the conference receives comes in a number of mm. forms. Um, a lot of it will be uh, in the form of reports from uh, the council and from the various committees of the conference. Um, but also there are um, uh, memorials. And a memorial is a request from either a circuit meeting or a, a district synod yeah. for the conference to do something. Yeah, wearing hats. <laughs> Um, then there are members members of the conference uh, might bring a, a notice of motion about a matter and ask the conference to consider it. Um, and some districts may bring resolutions yeah. on various issues. Um, so yeah, so, so that's one way. Another way is that sometimes the conference says, here are matters that are of such importance, we would like the whole of the connection to discuss them and to let us know what they think before we make our final decision. It's this cyclic conversation that takes place, which for me as a Methodist, is so precious and, and so important. Yeah. Indeed, I mean, when, when, yeah, I remember when I was based, I'm sure you do as well, um, being taught about the, the cycle. So yeah. the conference makes its decisions. Uh, the s district synod in September learns about those decisions. The circuit meeting receives them, uh, the church councils consider them, and then you know, the church councils may have things to the circuit meeting, the circuit meeting may have things to say either directly to the conference or to the synod, the synod uh, says things to the, to, to, to the conference. This has been so helpful. <laughs> and Marjorie, I hope you've learned something too. <laughs> Jonathan, every blessing to you, you as much, you, you take the conference in this 
exceptional year in a very, very difficult time. So every blessing to you and thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you.